Hey everybody, just wanted to say before we get this uh, episode started that uh, since we recorded this episode, uh, Nickelodeon actually released the season three finale, uh, the two-part season finale on their website. So uh, you can head over to nick.com and you should be able to find it. Otherwise, we will also supply the link in the show notes so you can check it out before it's on air, before it's on TV, on air. I guess you don't watch Nickelodeon over the air. I guess you watch it over cable. Anyway, enjoy the show. Ten flips now. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Turtle Pop Podcast. This time it's got me, Ryan. <laughs> and I'm here with Alex. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Derby's not here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, Awesome. And Darby. Bossa Nova. What? Yeah. Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Oh. Yeah. Excellent! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Turtle Powered Podcast. Uh, uh, just uh, me, Ryan, with uh, Alex this time. Hey Alex, how you doing? Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, yes, uh, I, you know, I, I was thinking as I was uh, as we were just listening to the intro song that uh, probably shouldn't have played that because, uh, yeah, we are missing Darby. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. uh, d- man, yeah, so as usual, Darby's got uh, some uh, technical technical problems. Yeah, if like 1.1, you know, download. Well, th- yeah, that's just not going to work. So, yeah. for only $5 a day, <laughs> even you can help support a child with their internet issues. We're going to start a GoFundMe for uh, <laughs> for Darby's internet. Oh, that's very sad. But uh, it's okay. We'll hold down the fort today. And, uh, man, we are just packed with news this, uh, this episode. No, we're not. <clears throat> no, not at all. No, we're not not even close. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's been a second month in a row of uh, quiet uh, turtle news, but it's okay. You know, we've got uh, we've got a, we've got a uh, an episode uh, full of uh, turtley goodness. Um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely cover the news that we've got, and then uh, we've got some 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 stuff that we've been holding on to here at the uh, the Turtle Power Podcast. Some some uh, some topics that we want to discuss that. Um, and we just we've just been holding on for a rainy day, like today. In fact, it has been raining here all day in Tampa. So yes, I'm I'm on the road. And I'm in, actually in in Alex's old uh, old stomping grounds here in Tampa. You are, uh, but going. Should I know what these things are that we're supposed to be talking about? Because I don't I don't think I know. No, no, I've been keeping these very very secret, They're close to oh. the chest, close to the shell, if if you will. So mm, um, that's fantastic. All right, well. <laughs> Just so you know, guys, we do have a. Uh, we're going to be talking about a Chris Hardwick clip, one uh, in which I have not seen yet, and uh, there is no link for me to see it. So That's can right. you explain to me what's going on here? So back on August seventh, all right. So, uh, gosh, was that? I think it was right after our. Uh, was that right before or right after our last episode? Anyway, um, I got a chance to uh, see Chris Hardwick, uh, of course, Nerdist. At Nerdist, one of the uh, most famous podcasters in, uh, in the whole world. You've heard hey, of this guy, right. right? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> well, uh, got to do uh, some comments, uh during uh, during the show, and I was able to uh, ask a question. And, uh, of course, being me, uh, what else could I ask but, uh, well, but this? Yes, sir. Favorite Ninja Turtle? Um... 
Do you like Donatello? I think I like Michelangelo. Am I gonna fuck you? <laughs> you know, I guess it makes sense. It, it, you know, he's a comedian. Sure. Michelangelo. It doesn't have to make like my Leo doesn't make sense for me. Raph makes more sense for me. Raph definitely doesn't make any sense for you. And then there's no offense. But. You know, it's interesting you bring that up. And I was actually going to save this for for later on the show, but uh, th- we can actually talk about this right now. So okay. um, this is one of those things that I've been keeping close to the show. And uh, this was a, a conversation that uh, that my wife and I had, and uh, it got it got deep. It got it got real deep. Mm-hmm. So we were discussing just exactly what you we were talking about, how our favorite turtles, you, know, you, me, and Darby, our favorite turtles don't really match our personalities. Right. And I, I started to think about how the fact that, you know, people love Batman, but they don't necessarily want to be Batman, right? Uh, so, no, no. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I'd rather be Bruce Wayne. But that's mm-hmm. a whole nother conversation even it's the same person but i mean why wouldn't you see you know what i'm not even gonna get into that anyway go ahead (laughs) but you know what i mean like you can be yeah your favorite person your favorite uh, avenger could be iron man but that doesn't mean you have to be uh you know an engineer you don't have to be um you know a tech person or a Um, pompous soul it's it's basically how turtle personalities compare and and complement each other mm-hmm. right you know all, if you take all four you know they're all that's what that's one of the things that makes the turtles so great is how the four of them together really you know it's the whole we like to say oh you know it's, it's family they got a family dynamic and it works really well but it's really their personalities the the personalities compare and complement each other very very well they do uh, like how Leo and Raph, while opposite at times, are actually drawn to each other. Because at the end of the day, they are still family, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're very... Um, uh, they're, they're opposites, right? right. I mean, they, they're, they're well, always buddy Sure, sure. Yeah. Mikey and Donatello, again, the same thing. Leo. So. Leo's the logical one. Mm-hmm. Raph, the emotional one. Right. And what we realized, me and my wife, Jessica, we realized that's just like us. Except Leo, the logical one, I'm that, that's me. I'm the logical one of the relationship, and my wife 100%. is the emotional one of the relationship. 100%. 100% agree. Isn't that interesting? So, so how. No, it's, 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 it's actually funny. Lindsay and I have had this same conversation. And we've actually placed, and I'm sure, I'm, I don't know, I, I, I like to, when I'm describing friends, especially ones that I know as well as you guys, I, om- I almost just categorize you into turtles. Like, who, which turtle do you fall into? Right. And you, by far, you always fall into Leo. You always fall into Leo. Uh, just as well as, it, it, she, she, you know what? She has her moments. She's, but that that's what makes Raph special. Raph isn't always serious. He has that little bit of Mikey in him, where he just kind of, mm-hmm. he just, and he's just fun like that. And just the same way, Lindsay is one hundred percent Donatello, and that's her favorite turtle, and it mm-hmm. fits, mm-hmm. and it it just fits. I'm one hundred percent Raphael. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, you are I'm, very I'm, emotional. Yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly emotional. I really don't think think, think things through. Um, I'm a hothead. Um, I just it, – it's it's the perfect fit for me, but he is one of my least favorite turtles because, well, because when I when I see it, when I see Raph on screen, it reminds me too much of me. Mm. So it's like a turnoff. And, yeah. and Leo kind of gives me something to aspire to, not that I'm aspiring to, to you, so don't let your head get No, stupid. no. <laughs> but you, it, it, it's, just, it's just like – it's like that's what I – that's what I want to be. I want to be – not that there's anything wrong with me, but I, you know, I want to be more like that. I want to develop some of those traits, some of those leadership skills, those that that patience that he has. Right. That's not something that I have. Now, here, here's what I think it is too: is that it's the whole opposites attract, mm-hmm. yin and yang, the balance, right? Mm-hmm. Like, 
you know, I'm drawn to my wife because I'm the logical one and she's the emotional one in the same way that I'm drawn to Raphael as a character because he's an emotional character. Same way, you know, that, you know, I'm drawn to you as a friend because you're emotional. Like, I love hanging out with you because, you know, maybe it's that, that, uh, that you know, Cubano in you, you know. <laughs> maybe. You, you bring out the inner Mikey in me is what you do. Interesting. You do. You bring out the inner Mikey in me. And I'm sure you, there's, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you noticed that. But Oh, yeah. You definitely bring out the inner Mikey in me. So I, I don't know. This was just a topic that we that we uh, Justin and I were having. Gosh, this, this is something it happened. It didn't happen just yesterday. This is something I've been holding on to. So it's it's really interesting that you just brought that up because I was planning on actually talking about that today. So um, yeah, so it's that that kind of stuff. It's those kinds of things. Those those details. That's what makes the turtles great. And it, and it's the hardcore fans. It's you and me and and our listeners. The, we're the ones that get it, right? And and it's hard to try to explain to somebody, you know, they're like, oh, it's just a kid's show, you know. No, there's so much. There's so much. So, no, it, it's it's a fun topic of conversation. I'm sure everybody out there probably categorizes their friends, and in, 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 it, it sounds awful. But it, it in every, every single person has a personality trait, and you kind of just fit them into a turtle. Yeah. And, well, and it's it's uh, and that that doesn't necessarily have to be their favorite turtle either. Uh, uh-uh. no, right. absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, just a just a fun fun little uh, topic there. April O'Neil, Channel Three Eyewitness News. All is she right. not the hottest April? <laughs> she really is. She really, she is. really is. You know, we are almost to one thousand followers on Twitter, so. Um, if you haven't already, follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast, and uh, make sure you let your friends know, let your let your family know, let your turtle family know. Follow us on Twitter. Let's get to that 1,000 followers, and and uh, maybe, gosh, maybe we can do something special for the 1,000th. We should. That's follow. a that's that, that's a monumental number, man. That's that's big. That is big. Um, next up. Uh, gosh, <laughs> have you ever been to Indianapolis? <laughs> I have driven through that uh, that cesspool, but um, it's it, it looks like there's going to be a reason to go. Back. Yes, and that is at the Indianapolis Children's Museum. This is a uh, a, a TMNT exhibit is going to be opening up there uh, in partnership with Nickelodeon. So it's going to be an official. Um, I'm not quite sure what what this has to do with um, a museum. Because it's it's the Nick Turtles, and they're really not well, that old. It, it's it's not it's not on Turtle history. It has it nothing is to not do with on Turtle, Turtle history. history at all. There's no history. <laughs> no, it has to do with uh, with basically like cognitive skills and learning skills for like problem solving skills. Have, have you um, have you had a chance to kind of briefly like read through? Yes. The, the summary. So, this seems like it's something that would fit more in a um, in a science meet in a science uh, center, like a children's science mm-hmm. center or something. We've got one yeah. of those in, in Orlando, but, um, uh, Hey, you know, I guess wherever they can, they can fit it, but, um, Hey, I, I, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I think it's, I wish I had, uh, we had that when I was a kid, I used to live in Chicago and Indianapolis was not that far of a drive. Um, true. so that would have been great. It, it's, it's, it looks, I mean, these are all, this is, these are all concept images. We we're, we're pulling it up through, um, uh, ninja pizza done. It's in the show notes, but the, uh, the the concept images are they just it looks fun it looks it like it's going to be a lot of fun like i want to just push all the kids out of the way and then go through the <laughs> exhibit myself and be yeah. and, and use my ninja training to whatever it is at the end yeah but like you, you saw the shell razor and all that. Like, it just looks really cool yes it does and they've got um they've got like life size <laughs> statues of the mm-hmm. nick turtles which are pretty amazing. Like that, that, there is a photo of that all the way at the bottom, and uh, yeah, it just looks fun. I, I agree. I do. Agree. Now, most ex- exhibits obviously are are they're they're um, temporary exhibits, so they yes. are mobile. Do do yeah. we know what the what the future holds for this exhibit? I know they're it, it, it's not even open yet, not till September twenty sixth. But right, and it's interesting that it's right around the corner, but. Right. Uh, we also already have a end date, and it's going to be April 10th. 
So, for anybody out there, you're going to have time to uh, to get to Indianapolis if you would like to check this out. But what I, I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking what you're thinking is that after April 2016, where is this going next? Exactly. Yep. So, yeah, maybe it'll head south. Maybe it'll head west. We'll see. It'll probably go west because everything goes west because everything yeah, sucks. True. Just like Fievel. Nobody wants to come to Florida. This is true. That's, nobody wants to come to Florida. Anyway. But, yeah, that's cool. Exciting. So uh, definitely check out uh, some of the concept uh, photos and the, uh, the photo of the um, of the turtles. And I, I'm sure once once this opens up, there will be uh, some additional uh, um, you know, websites and, and news articles about this. So we'll uh, be sure to share that on the uh, on the hey on the Twitter <laughs> <laughs> on the Twitter. Well, All we right. don't have any video game news tonight, but we, we do don't. have. Collecting news. From Playmates! Mondo is, has been all the rage <laughs> as far as <laughs> turtle collecting has been going. Um, of course, we talked about it last couple episodes. The, um, the one six scale um, turtles that are going to be coming out from Mondo. They had them out at uh, Comic Con. And uh, they've got this really cool. Uh, video we've got a link to it in the show notes it's on vimeo and um they had a a, uh they had their their leonardo go on sale uh they also had a a tmnt2 poster that went on sale um by at the rich kelly and um both of them well i should say the leonardo the the, uh, limited edition leonardo and the limited edition subscription sold out in literally minutes. Um, I think it was like three minutes, and they were all gone. So to give you a little bit extra info here, the limited edition Leo was the 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 Leo that everybody else can buy, but it had a the addition of Shredder's uh, gauntlet. His destroyed gauntlet from the uh, first TMNT issue uh, back in the old Mirage days. So, the only thing that you won't get is that. And it was $10. You were essentially buying a $10 tiny, tiny, tiny piece of plastic. But it's a tiny, tiny piece of plastic that only 500 people will have. Correct. And I think that's, that's exactly what it is. So, they sold out of all of these, I think it was 500 Mm-hmm. in yep. three minutes and um people weren't happy <laughs> as you can imagine um and and so and i mentioned that and i and i also mentioned the fact that there's a subscription service so this was a subscription service that was for all four of the limited edition turtles so you had to this was um this was going to be 150 each but you were going to have to pay it four times and gee let me think that's six hundred dollars and these also sold out in about three minutes so that's ridiculous it's crazy man it's crazy uh again these are for the limited edition now you can still get the which is still amazing one six you know leo unfortunately it's 150 which you know 150 dollars isn't cheap but it, gosh, it looks so it looks so good, it looks amazing, and you know mm-hmm. you get so let, let, I'll give the rundown here what you get out of this figure. Classic comic red mask head, cartoon blue mask head, dual katanas and scabbards, one set of sea grip hands, one set of climbing claw hands, unique pointing finger of leadership hand, <laughs> love that, two four point shurikens. Two eight point shurikens. You're getting two kinds of shurikens here, people. Ninja stars. Look it up. Grappling hook and cord. Utron blaster. Belt with scabbard straps. Pre mutation splinter and a pre mutation baby Leo. For 150. And and it's it, it could quite possibly be the best looking 
Turtles action figure there's ever been. I mean, it's it's hard to you shouldn't probably call it an action figure. I mean, it's a collectible figure. But uh I mean with the 1/6 scale and everything, but gosh, it looks fantastic. I mean, it's it's approximately 11 inches in height. Uh it, it's it's fantastic. 25 points of articulation. 25 plus points of articulation. Why don't you just say 26? What is it? 26, 27? <laughs> <laughs> why did I not just say exactly how many? But um, it looks fantastic, man. This figure looks absolutely stunning uh, to me. It, it's it's not even just the all the points of articulation and the fact that you get the two shurikens and you know it's just the the actual the the shading that they did on the shell, the, the actual color that they did. The expressions look fantastic. They're spot on. Yeah. They're very similar to uh, that old school turtle. The only thing that it throws me off a little bit, you, you, I mean, it may just be me, but did you notice how big the feet are, are compared to the rest of the body? Does it just <laughs> not look like it's proportionate? You know, I never really thought about it, but uh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. Hey, you know, he's got big feet. You know what they say uh, about turtles with big feet? Well, you can see it kind of underneath the shell there. It, you know, <laughs> please, please That's his tail. That's his tail. <laughs> hey, hey, whatever. <laughs> You can call it whatever you oh want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh man. All right. Well, we we've been talking about this this figure for a while. I you know, I I'll, I'll see what I can do when the uh the raft comes around. Gosh, it's, it just looks so good. Uh, it's going to be tough if, uh to try to avoid the raft on this one. I'd, I'm trying to find an excuse to not buy this. I'm re, I'm really trying to. Um, Do you realize how phallic his tail looks? I'm just gonna go back on this for a second. <laughs> scroll, scroll up to the one where he's pointing. Uh, yeah. Uh, look at it, it's almost like it has a hood. <laughs> it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god! It's absolutely ridiculous. Tell me I'm wrong. That doesn't look like a tail, man. And I have a turtle. His tail looks nothing like that. <laughs> it well, yeah, you're right. I'm absolutely right. <laughs> oh goodness, yeah. It um, you do have a turtle. What's your turtle's name? Uh, it is Leo. Um, oh, look at that. It's uh, actually it's uh, Lindsay took it in, into school. It's uh, the class pet now. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. They they absolutely love them, and they love the the tie in with TMNT. Um, she teaches third grade magnet and you know, they're all about the, the turtles. Um, Lindsay brought, brought in my, um, my turtle thermos the other day and they were just, they were oohing and on man. Like they just, they love turtles. I see turtle backpacks every time I go in and lunch boxes. And, um, so they love the fact that they have a turtle, uh, that's named Leo in their, uh, in their classroom. So, uh, yeah, man, it's 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 pretty awesome. The kids are loving it, and it, you know, it's just a class pet through the school year, and then he comes on back for the uh, for the holidays and all that good stuff. You get to but, you get to take after him uh, during the summer months, huh? Mhm, mhm, mhm. Very cool. Yep, yep. It's you know, it's it's funny because it's a, it's a turtle. You know, a turtle really they, they they're pretty independent. With well, I say that they're not really. But they don't really do much. They don't ask for your affection. They're not on you like my dogs are 24-7. But in an odd, weird way, not having him here just doesn't feel right. Mm. It just – it's it's difficult to get used to. And, and, and it's 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 just – it's really weird. We've had him for, for 11 years, 12 years almost. Wow. So I guess, yeah. But anyway – uh, I guess we could move on. What's next on the? It's the poster, right? That, that awesome, amazing poster. Is yeah, that where we're going? yeah. So the uh, the poster also again. This thing sold out in just minutes. I, I don't know if it was minutes, but it's definitely sold out and it's gone. So um, it should be. It should be. You know, and it, what is the one thing that is cool is if you just search for um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Mondo website. That's mm-hmm. MondoTees dot com. You can actually see they've uh, they've sold a lot of turtles artwork on that website. Uh, some really cool stuff over the years. So um, I don't think this will be the last time uh, you'll get your you'll get a chance to get some cool turtle yeah. Uh, artwork. Yeah, but this is this is. I mean, they made 
a team uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 was it was not not near my favorite. Let me just tell you how good the turtles look too. I wish the turtles looked like that during the movie mm. because uh, the, the, I was not a fan of the way the turtles looked in uh, Secret of the Use. Not a fan at all. But um, God, it just looks so good. It's it, anytime I see art like that, it just astonishes me because I can't even come close to doing that. Like I draw stick figures for a living. That's what I do. That's that's as close as I can. That's what they do is just absolutely ridiculous. The way Kevin Nash looks. Mm-hmm. And Toka and Razar. Toka should have bought this. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Wonder man. if he did. Well, do you know if they're do you know if they're gonna if they're gonna sell prints of this, like uh, any additional prints a, a, or so. re-release? Have I they think mentioned that's what anything? they do. They I think they they yeah. they have a certain amount of prints and they're they keep some limited edition, so yeah. they uh, they sell out and they're gone. And yeah. um, I guess it's it's. Hey, it just makes room for uh, for something new to come in. So, suppose we'll uh, we'll keep our eyes on uh, on mondotees dot com, and uh, if uh, if any of our listeners uh, out there, if uh, if you notice anything new on there, let us know, and we'll be sure to share it with all the other listeners. Whoa, 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 whoa! You know, talk about the pins. Ah, uh, the pins. The pins are all gone too, man. I know they're gone. But everything's <sighs> yeah. gone. Everything's gone. Yeah, there's no, everything is there's gone. no point in even looking at anything. Yeah. But <laughs> but the pins look pretty sick too. Yeah, they were these. I mean, um, it's the turtle heads. And um, mm-hmm. you what? Um, yes. What incarnation would you say that looks most like? Uh, it looks. So if you look at it, it looks like uh, the original um, Mirage. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's I would got, say Mirage Turtles. I would say those yeah. are Mirage Turtles. Yeah, it's got yeah because it's got the uh, the different color um, mm-hmm. variations. It, Don, where Donnie's really dark, that really yeah. dark dark green, almost like a dark olive green. Yeah. And uh, Mikey's the hunter green. Yeah. Those colors kind of fall in line with the action figures from the eighties, though. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I was thinking. And that's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, they've. Uh, Gosh, Mono's been putting out some good turtle stuff lately. So, yes, sir. Keep your eyes out for it, and uh, we will be uh, sure to do so as well. Now, this isn't really a news story, but I uh, <laughs> wanted to share it with you all and uh, have you check out some of this stuff. But uh, over at uh, Crooked Ninja, crookedninja.com, where you uh, follow him on Twitter, and uh, he's, he's got some really cool little. Uh, little um, Little stories over there on their website. So this is one here, and it's um, a collection of unreleased TMNT toys. Now we've got two of the. Uh, th- there's a part one and a part two. Now if I try to open up part one, um, a lot of the photos aren't coming up, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But uh, part two, they're all coming up still. So. For now, we're just going to look at part two, but we'll include the link to part one in the show notes, and maybe Crooked Ninja will hear us and uh, he'll fix those uh, fix those links on that on that one uh, on that first one. So, um, so let's just go over these some of these things. We've got a uh, Donatello role playing bow staff. Yep. Um, it actually has a, a strap on it, and uh, um, and it would actually like transform as well. So. It's pretty cool. A uh, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> metal mutants horsey. <laughs> oh, um, man, that is that is something. I'm pretty sure what it is actually is it's the if now I actually have this you and you've seen it. It's the horse from the third movie. Third movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think it's a paint job on that horse. It's, it, it looks it's painted all gold with like it looks so tail. bad. Yeah. Now it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's actually yeah, it actually even says that it was just a reuse of the samurai horse featured earlier in the line now uh, special sewer forces turtles like I feel like I've they came they, they came out I've seen these I have absolutely seen these I saw um, what the the, uh, the raft for sure the raft sticks out in my mind for sure well now if you go down to the next one right below that that is Raf's pizza-powered parachute, and it's got another Raf in like 
camo, but that's not the same one that's in the one above. So right. It's a slightly so slightly different paint scheme. Right. So that that maybe that's what it is. Because I'm I, there's the special sewer force, so I'm I'm guessing they're doing the Marines, they're doing the the Navy SEALs, and so on and so forth. So uh, Green Berets or, and all that good stuff. So mm-hmm. I wonder why they couldn't come out with those. I feel like that would have been. I think those would have sold really well. Yeah. Uh, this next one, Sewer Sports Soccer Ball. Oh, now, this is interesting because they said this that the soccer ball wasn't released, but I'm pretty sure they made other sports balls that were essentially the turtles just mashed up into the shape of a, some sort <laughs> of ball. And mm-hmm. then, were, you know, you'd throw them or whatever. I, I, and I see again, Darby should have been on here. I'm pretty sure he had like a football, like a yep. like a Donatello just squished down into the, the shape of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, a absolutely. Uh, this next one, I I think I could probably figure out why this this didn't. Um, I don't understand out. why. I think I think <laughs> this should have come out for sure. This this makes perfect sense. This is what kids were like. I mean, it, who didn't want to gouge their eyes and impale their their buddies with their with their bayonet you know this is the retro mutagen rifle with bayonet with bayonet and sewer sigh oh my gosh can you right. imagine i want to i want to read through this one all right go for it <clears throat> this reptilian retro mutagen rifle lets you become a real mutant one man army against the foot fiends with its custom turtle textured grip and super slimy telescopic turtle scope, this green gun is actually 12 toys in one. Mounted on a detachable ninja nunchaku tripod stand, this awesome mutant military weapon mutates from retro mutagen rifle to Uzi styled turtle powered pizza <laughs> pistol. In a flash, military-issued detachable ninja weapons pop out of semi-camouflaged hiding places. This reptilian rifle is jam-packed with ninja extras, detachable sewer sai, and Kawabunga katana bayonet lead the pack, backed up by a bodacious bow barrel. Pizza ammo clip, foot-seeking antenna, terror Inflicting tossable ninja star and working warrior compass round out the high tech mutant military design. There are terms in here that you just cannot use <laughs> anymore, <laughs> let alone in a toy ad. Oh my god. The Foot Clan will clear a path when they hear the noxious noises ricocheting from this. Mad mutant military weapon. Hit the turtleized trigger and watch the foot can flee as the retro mutagen rifle shoots out your favorite rude reptilian sounds. Uh, let's see. Um, what does it say? One, two, three, four reptilian rookie. What? Is that nookie? Is it nookie? <laughs> <laughs> if you survive Bodacious Boot Camp, you'll be ready to execute super secret mutant military missions with this wild weapon. Requires two C batteries, not included. C batteries. For ages four and up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I would have bought this. I, I would well I, I would have my yeah, my parents would have bought this. You or... would have bought this and you would have been immediately arrested by somebody. I wouldn't have been arrested by anybody, dude. And th- who's going to who's going to even mess with me road? with a retro rifle? Nobody's going to mess with me with a retro <laughs> retro mutant. That's come on, man. I'll just pull up my tripod and nunchaku, and <laughs> that doesn't even. Make... <laughs> I, it's, it's, it, I don't understand it. Oh my! It, it just doesn't make any sense. The bow barrel. Oh, so... The sight. That's the like the technodrome eye. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I would bought this. I'd buy this right now. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next one. Mutant mini mutants. Remember the mini mutants? Oh yeah. It was around the old uh, Polly Pocket days. Yep. 
Um, there's a Mini Mutants plane slash weapon station. Uh, there was um, a series of uh, Mini Mutants with uh, vehicles. Lots of little vehicles. Uh, a uh, cyber tank recon helicopter, also for the Mini Mutants. Um, now this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> Not like what he puts here. It's the Michael Bay. Oh, sorry, uh, Jim Lee Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> uh so so for anybody out there who's um not uh familiar I'll I'll go ahead and read this one. Or do you want to read this one? Uh you can go ahead and read this one. Okay. I, yeah, go for it. So Jim Lee's TMNT figure assortment, the uh, turtles rediscover their comic book roots. I'm not sure this was ever in any <laughs> Turtle comic book roots, but okay. I, I, I really, I do remember Leo looking like Thor at some point. I, I, <laughs> I truly, truly do. He's like half Thor, half, half Iron Man, Iron Man, half um, Incredible Hulk. He look he, he, and he's like green. parts in part Silver Samurai. Ah, very nice. there you go. There you go. That <laughs> looks so bad. From one of the. From the pen of one of the world's most revered comic book artists comes the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with a whole new look. These are turtles that cannot be ignored and <laughs> will not be denied. <laughs> wow. Jim Lee, creator of the Wild C-A-T-S, the hottest superhero team to hit the comic book scene. <sighs> mm-hmm. no, 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 keep going. Just keep yep. going. Okay, uh, has created a whole new look for the old green guys. A tougher, stronger, harder edged look. Turtles with a huge, huge comic book attitude. Well, okay, they already had all that before, but now it's done a la Jim Lee. God, you got all the 90s. The green. <laughs> The green dudes are bulked up for superhero battle, outfitted in super slick superhero duds, and sculpted in super comic book poses. And for real collectability, each figure is individually numbered and includes a special edition full-sized collector comic book. I feel like whoever writes these these script descriptions like wrote the like the descriptions of pornos on the back of the like the movie, like <laughs> <laughs> oh like Hugh, Houston six 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 takes on six hundred and sixty six huge hard green <laughs> you know like I. I yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's just the way you were reading it. That's just that was a huge. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm reading it how they want it to be read. I don't think that's how they want it to I'm, be read. I'm almost like exactly what, sure that's how they want it read. Yeah. What is going on with Donnie's right hand? Yeah, it's it's like his. Uh, I think it's in a it's in a he's got it clenched, but his fingers have like claws claws like along the length of his finger. Yeah, interesting. It's this only was on during the, the the whole. This was during. Um, I'm I'm gonna assume I, I don't know I don't know what the actual date is, but during like um Street Sharks and all that, I have to imagine mm. like that was this era because that they just fit into that era of right. cartoons. Yeah, probably. Alright, so then we get into some uh some next mutation. Uh there was a Dr. Quees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. I love how you jump down to Dr. Quee's first. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah. Yeah. I, I just can't take anything in the next mutation seriously. Just not. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You know, though, I'm glad it got a little bit of love. Okay. It, well, it didn't actually get any love. No, it didn't. Absolutely. I, I wish it would have gotten a little bit of love. Um, You know. Now, it, now, that being said, though, the next one, the Shadow Ninja series... Yeah, it's not too bad. No, I'm digging the Leo here. He's got the uh, he's got the uh, like karate pants on. I'm, I'm digging it... Mikey. I'm digging Mikey for sure. Yeah, he's got the whole gi on, right? Yeah, he's got the gi on, and um, Raph just. He, I mean, and he's got Raph the tonfas like... too. He doesn't mm-hmm. have the uh, the um, 
the nunchucks. He's got tonfas. Nope. That's interesting. Yep. Um, and then there's then there's Venus with her ninja star. It's a shuriken. Come on, we were just talking about this, dude. That is that is a that that is a saw blade for a circular saw. That is not <laughs> ninja star. <laughs> that is by far the just, biggest. Just straight the, up, uh, just took a <laughs> circular saw. Just took the blade off, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, what's next here? Oh, um, oh, from the fast forward series. This is a character called Inuwashi Gunjin. Uh, I, no, I think it's Inuwashi Gunjin. Ah, Gunjin. 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 Uh, last uh, but not least here, we've got Cyber Splinter. Mm-hmm. And this was uh, this is actually came off of the TMNT movie line. 2009 movie, yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty clear to see why it it was never released. It's interesting how they took like I mean the what is just the the one movie TMNT right? Yeah. And then they took the turtles from that one movie and they're just like I don't know make them make them special make them cyber. Throw throw cyber shredder in there and and cyber foot and cyber everybody. Yeah, and like there was no there was no shredder in TMNT. Ooh, no, there, there was no. no shredder. Th- there were, there was foot. There were foot, but there, there was, was no foot. cyber foot. There was no cyber foot. No, no. That would have been much more interesting. I like the movie. Don't get me wrong. Don't, I, I really enjoyed the movie, but I think an added element of a cyber foot soldier probably would have been mm. pretty sweet. Anyway, um, they look awful, man. They It's like a cross between Tron and and TMNT is what the turtles look like. Yeah, that's, that's true. They look which, absolutely ridiculous. Which I would say actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, but sounds does, doesn't really work out in real life. <laughs> no, no. For, even for 2009, if, if these look, these look like it's just like some crazy man in the in the early in the in the late 80s, early 90s saying the internet's gonna be huge, and they just this is, this is gonna be the close of the future. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. It looks awful, man. Well, we're going to cover some more of these uh, articles over on Crooked Ninja, uh, crookedninja.com. So um, we got a couple more that we want to cover in the future. But uh, for now, it's time for TV news. Well... Mm. <laughs> it's not really good news. It, this no. is a re- this is certainly a reoccurring theme, isn't it? Well, yeah, and I, I feel like they're just doing it just to get at you at this point. Oh yeah, this is personal now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't guessed it already, yes, it's another DVD release of partial season, and uh, this is going to be. For the final twelve episodes of season three, yeah. <sighs> Price Great is episodes. twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty dollars. Yeah. December first. I think it's a bit much for three episodes, but um, or twelve. There's... You know, twelve episodes. Oh, season okay. three, the final twelve episodes. Oh, okay. well then it's fine. I thought you said three. Okay, yeah. Then that's not too bad. Um, that's too much for a DVD. Right, it's the problem. It's a DVD. So that's just it. It doesn't make any sense to me. It 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 doesn't make it doesn't cost any more to produce because, like you said, they're already it's already it's already HD. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So it would would literally cost no additional money to produce. Blue. I mean, do you, do we need to start an Indiegogo or not Indiegogo GoFundMe or whatever whatever the the kids are doing nowadays? to get them to do a blu-ray because it doesn't make any sense i don't want to play a dvd of the turtles when i can watch them in hd on hulu or whatever streaming service yeah make it worth my while to buy it yeah this is true um i figured i'd, I'd say everything that you were gonna say because i i can't say it anymore it's, it's a broken record with you already man this is true um and it's interesting because this is this is a this is a uh, TV shows on DVD.com. Now the, the name of the website made maybe a little misleading because they in fact do also talk about Blu-rays. <laughs> uh, 
and, and it's funny because the latest review right on the left is for Adventure Time's fifth season. On Blu-ray. Okay. On Blu-ray. Yeah. Gee, what a uh, what a novel concept. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it's obviously something that that can be done, that should be done, and um, we just don't know why it, it's not happening. So um, now, with that being said, actually, are, are you looking at this website right now, Alex? I just saw the Calabon Christmas. Are you are you on the yeah, same thing? Yes, sir. All this right. is this new breaking news today. Uh, actually, we've got the uh, Nickelodeon's press release for the uh, 2003 uh, Turtle series um, Cowabunga Christmas special that's going to be coming out. We talked about this on the show, but I don't think we had all the details. Uh, I don't think we had a. Did we have a, like a release date yet? I don't, I don't think, think we, we had did. a. I don't think we did, and, and no. or a price. I don't think so. Nope. Street date is going to be October 13th. It's going to be ten dollars. That's the suggested retail price, ten dollars. Right, right. And uh, this is the 2003 series. And again, now, again, we'll be clear. This was 2003 Turtles. Was not high def. You know, it doesn't need to be in in high def. This is still four by three. This wasn't even sixteen by nine. This wasn't even widescreen. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it doesn't need to be on Blu-ray. So, it, you know, it's okay. This, this is on DVD. So. But and by the way, it still looks great in that resolution, by the way. Oh, totally. Totally. So. Totally. Because it was it was the animated style. It's not the the CG uh, animated style of the Nick Turtles. Right. Yeah. Right. So and this is uh I think this is a cuz I think every we all have we all have our different Christmas e traditions kind of deals. Uh, like oh, Christmas yeah. Story, and this would be a fun this Christmas tradition. This would be to start. a fun. Ah, oh, I, I like where your head's at, man. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, because we watch we watch Christmas Story. We we watch all these typical Christmas movies, and uh, I, I think this should be thrown into the mix. You know, and regardless of whether you know, I mean, my in laws will probably they'll probably just ignore it, but I don't care. You know, they they only have to deal with it for 65 minutes, but uh, <laughs> I have to deal with them for a lifetime. Hopefully they don't listen to this. So. <laughs> oh man! Well, uh, we'll include a uh, link to that in the show notes as well. So. Oh, and it, it includes three episodes, also by the way. I don't know if you mentioned that, which is uh, Christmas Aliens, uh, The Way of Invisibility, and Fallen Angel. All three of those are included uh, on that DVD. Cowboy Christmas. Let's talk about the uh, the series right now. Okay. All right. I'm done with that. I just uh, I just caught up the other day so um i'm game what what do you think what do you think about <clears throat> season three so far so turtles and turtles in time had i think i think it didn't live up to its potential mm. I'm, I'm gonna start there but um i i think R- renee uh just uh i didn't fall in love with her character as wow. much as I was hoping to, um, I liked uh, what they did with the foot, um, and going back and seeing Saki and just watching that whole storyline develop, yes. and that was yeah. fantastic. Yes, that and, was great, and, and it, it was it was gut wrenching uh, at the very end there. Um, <sighs> I wish it was longer. I wish they yes. had stayed back there longer. Like if they'd done yeah. like a half a half a season or something. You know, yeah, the they did it with the crank in, in you know in Japan. Yeah, yeah, I, I I would absolutely be down with that. I mean, but that's I, th- I think they, they they obviously they left it wide open. So there it's something that they're definitely going to revisit um, at some true. point. Uh, and I don't I, I do like where 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 the series is going. The uh, all the characters. You know, one thing that I that I'm 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 really I'm I don't know. I'm just not feeling right now is. So throughout the entire series, and this happens with every turtle series. It's not, you know, this isn't just um, related to the to the uh, 2012 series, but they um, create and they or or they introduce so many characters, so many villains specifically, and I feel like we're just not seeing enough of a lot of these villains, these everyday villains that like Razar and Fishface and. All that we don't we don't see them nearly as much as we used to. We see them here and there, but obviously, um, Bebop and Rocksteady are the focus right now. 
Um, Hun, I, I, I want to see it, maybe something develop with Hun. I don't like his character as of right now. I just don't. I don't like the whole Bruce Lee ripoff. I think mm. uh, way too many um, video game franchises and, and way too many cartoons have, have tried pulling that off. And it's just – it's tired. It's old. And it does not – do anything for Hun. Like I, I, I wanted to see a storyline develop between Hun and and Casey at some point. Like a, and and maybe this is just me just wishing it was more like the comic, and, and that's probably what it is because the comic is just so so damn good. Um, but I just wanted to see more done with these characters, these secondary characters, these B and C characters. Um, I feel like they're they might be a little underutilized. Um, for the sake of, of, of the story at this point. And I, I just want to see them more involved. Um, and I think that that whole episode with Mondo Gecko, going back to, to, to Mondo, was just a uh, – I almost feel like it was just a lazy episode um, just to get those characters in. And it's fun. You get to see all the characters and they're all there. and But it's, it's really just – it's underwhelming and it's – it, it it really it was I don't know it, it, I know it's it's geared towards kids and I can't look at it I can't be too objective but it's just like it was almost like a, like really this is this is what you're doing like you're just no. throwing all these baddies I, in I a room up enough. there I don't think you have to give him a, you know a a pass because it's a kid show I really don't I don't think that that's but a... do you, do you feel like that 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 episode specifically was kind of just like a let's just get him in to get him in like just just like a lazy episode so was, so to me what what i think is going on is i think they're starting to run into the territory of of um the the original series actually mm-hmm. i i feel like it's a little different though what i what i feel like is that you you know your bebop your rocksteady your fish face your bradford um tiger claw Mm-hmm. These these quote unquote you know villains are becoming jokes, you know there there's no consequences, right? You know it was the whole joke back in the day, you know the the original animated series where where Shredder was, how is this guy a villain? He he loses every time, like how is he <laughs> and you know any sort of um, right threat? He 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 loses every time. Well, and, and, and it was just like Bebop and Rocksteady when they were first introduced in the original series. Remember, they were pretty, yes. they were pretty ba. Yes. And then as it progressed, just like now, you're absolutely right. They became jokes. And and I I feel like that's exactly what's happening again mm-hmm. with a lot of these characters now. Shredder, I feel like they're keeping him special. Yes. That's why he's not around, and I think that's actually a good idea. I think they're they're. Um, you know, keeping the character's integrity safe by not having Shredder in all these episodes. Right. So, um, and it's interesting that we, um, you know, we were talking about this because uh, we actually um, reached out on Twitter to our listeners and uh, asked uh, if there's anything that we want to talk about. And uh, the Sewer Den on Twitter, uh, it's exactly what he asked about. Is the Nick series still as good as when it started, or has it lost steam? Mm-hmm. And uh, Rashad J responded, um, "I think they uh, their focus on the uh, mutagen too much. Um, honestly, that that's a good point. There, there is like it seems like every episode now is Donnie working on mutagen. Right, <laughs> he's working right. on some sort of anti mutagen or mutagen." Um, At this part, we have we have what's called Ben Parker syndrome. Okay, we already know what happened. We know what happens, and we know why they're mutants. They don't have to give the story on how the mutagen affected their life, and Donnie consistently working on the mutagen. It's just, just I mean, just like the creeper, the episode with the creeper, that was a that's a perfect example, and just went right back to that mutagen. Um, that's a good point. That's a good, and I hadn't even thought of it. It's like I noticed it, but I didn't, never even thought of that just being repetitive as repetitive as it really is yeah uh, he, he goes on to say that uh season three has actually not been his favorite he will admit that and uh the sewer den responded um 
that uh, it seems like there's been a lot of filler this season. Um, uh, Tim, uh, at TimG311, long-time uh, listener, says, uh, for me, it uh, definitely has not lost steam. These last few episodes have been great. And, I, you know, like like the, uh, you know, the Turtles going to Japan, I, I definitely agree there. Um, and uh, he does say, and from what I know of the season three finale, it's looking like it will be an awesome one. So mm-hmm. you know, Tim knows something that we don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Michael Mashburn at Mike's World 2121. On Twitter says season three has been good so far. You know some some mixed rea- uh, reactions there. Going back to Tim and him saying that based on what he knows from season three, yeah. it's going to be a good finale. So <clears throat> this uh, this is not a, a a resource that I like to use. Wikipedia is n- not n- very rarely is it 100 percent accurate, but it's it's good enough. If this is accurate, then it, it could be pretty good. Um, so we, the last episode that was released was, um, again, it's, it's the fourfold trap. Um, I have not seen that yet because it hasn't been uploaded to, um, to Hulu. So the last one I saw was creeping doom, which is where the creeper obviously comes back. Um, so I haven't seen the fourfold trap and the unknown enemy. I'm unsure of what that is and who that is as of right now, but coming up next and these are this is this could be a, this, these these could be spoilers so if you don't want to listen that's fine um ryan you don't have a choice so <laughs> i do i guess not <laughs> <laughs> um so episode 76 uh, um which is the next one i think it's episode 76 yeah um the next one down is going to be dinosaur scene in sewers now you can probably already guess what that's going to be uh, mm-hmm. The description, the very brief description, says Raph makes a new friend in Zog, an alien Triceraton. Yeah, there you go. There you and, go. And that's what we talked about that at the uh, uh, right a couple episodes back. Yeah. Now that's leading into the the two part finale, which is called Annihilation Earth, um, which is uh, again brief description. When the turtles get word of the Krang's return, they realize there is an even bigger threat coming to Earth. And then that's the same thing, um, the same description for part two. So don't know what that is exactly, but that's kind of where it's leading. So um, I don't know if he has more info. I'd love to know if he has more info. Send him, send us some stuff um, on our on our Twitter. Like just share what you know, man, because I'm, I'm interested. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course, because wherever you have the Triceratons, you have to have the Crane, right? Yeah, right. So, or the Utrams, either way. Mm-hmm. But you, we know what they are. You should know they're there, Trams. So, you know, you should. just saying. You should know. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's uh, get out of TV news and into comic book news. I strike two on my way down. Donatello takes out a third with his staff. Already the pudgy ones are starting to panic. Raph loves this stuff. He's not alone. Why is he narrating? Is he crazy? Hardcore crazy. I love these guys! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't not laugh during that intro. I can't can't do it. Uh, Turtles forever. Turtles forever. All right. Um, Hey, uh, now, I mean, we're, we're, we're friends, right? We're good. You and I? Yeah. Uh, At times. Um, Can you lend me 500 bucks? Um, See, uh, based on what I think it's for, absolutely not. uh, Oh, come on, man. You don't go for it? No. No, no, no. I don't think so. I I, I have $500, but I think I'm going to keep that to myself so I can go uh, spend an evening with Mr. Kevin. Think think of it as an investment. I am going to invest in myself. No, no. I'm saying saying an investment – in in for yourself but in me no uh that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard <laughs> the dumbest thing i've ever heard listen, absolutely listen not. listen there's this event it, it's called an evening with kevin eastman it's it's at uh the san diego comic art gallery and 
you know, it, it costs five hundred dollars per person to get in. But but I say it's an investment because you pay for me to go. The you pay the five hundred dollars for me to go mm-hmm. and then I will give you an exclusive gift bag worth over five hundred dollars. So I get to I get what's in the bag, and you just get to spend time with Kevin. Right, and so you it's worth over five hundred dollars. So you're actually getting more money back. How about I give you five bucks towards the five hundred, and you just give me uh, the number fifty exclusive event variant cover signed by Kevin. I'll think about it. I'll All right, fair it. enough. Uh, yeah, so if it, you haven't picked up on that, so that was that that was just so that was that was that went on longer. I I, I was waiting for you to stop. I just <laughs> want you to know. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've got my acting chops going. Oh God, just have them go somewhere else because that was. <laughs> oh, very nice. Well done. Uh, that's right. October seventeenth, you can be part of this one-time limited event with co-creator of the TMNT, Kevin Eastman. You get a private guided tour of the gallery out in uh, San Diego. Private dinner with Kevin. A guided tour of the new IDW publishing offices. An exclusive gift bag worth over $500. Which includes, one, San Diego Comic Art Gallery Exhibition Collection exclusive hardcover with an original sketch by Kevin on the front cover. A TMNT number 50 exclusive event variant cover signed by Kevin. A uh, uh, TMNT Ultimate Collection hardcover. Doesn't say which one. Maybe it's... It looks, in the picture, it looks like it's three. That's random. Um, a uh, San Diego Comic Art Gallery... Um, TMNT print signed by Kevin and a t-shirt from the San Diego Comic Art Gallery. And more. And more. So if you are going to be in the Southern California area in uh, mid-October, head over to sdcomicartgallery.com slash events and uh, let us know how it goes. And uh, I did mention that... uh, that um, San Diego Comic Art Gallery Exhibition Collection uh, hardcover. That's actually going to be available to purchase um, outside of the uh, of the gallery for the first time. Um, basically, it's a trade paperback containing uh, Kevin Eastman's artwork, manuscripts, preliminary drawings, finished art, all illustrating Eastman's meticulous approach to, and dedication to his work. Include some of his earliest sketches and most recent covers. So, and that's going to be coming out November twenty fifth. And uh, if uh, if you aren't anywhere near San Diego or Southern California, if you go to the SD Comic uh, Comic Art Gallery dot com, um, there's a little uh, drop down under Studios and Library. You can go ahead and click on Eastman Studios, and it'll just kind of give you just some some little glimpses as far as what it looks like. Um, it's pretty sweet. I think we've shared these pictures before. I want to say they look familiar. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We went. We um. We touched on when the opening was. Right. But, uh, That's right. Yeah. Right. So. There you go. Um. Really quick. Out now. IDW. Mm. Issue fifty is going to be coming out October seventh. So. Mm. October. Yeah. You know, issue forty nine. I guess would be out right now. How great is it that they are at issue fifty? <sighs> this is going to be a big one, man. It's going to be a big one. We've got some feelers out to try to get uh, something special for our listeners uh, celebrating this release. So, gosh, it, it's such an amazing series. Um, it, it uh, I'm, I'm really happy they're at 50, and I, and I can't wait to see so much more. They have enough content for it. They already said they did. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, so excited. I'm so excited. Have you ever... Now, obviously, the 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 Turtles comic history is a, is a fairly rich history, and there's obviously a lot of other comics out there: Spider Man, Batman, your 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 big your big ones, and obviously some indie ones. Um, have you ever gotten into a series like you have this one? Never, not even close. Me neither. Me yeah. neither. 
Yeah. I mean, not even even previous Turtles uh, series. Mm -hmm. Uh, This this one has got me locked in. It just... It, 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 I, I, same thing with me. I'm, I'm virtually speechless. So, in addition to um, the the standard IDW series, we got Casey and April issue four of four, releasing September 23rd. Uh, on the uh, IDW Adventures uh, forefront, uh, they've got uh, issue two releasing September 16th. That was uh, yesterday, as we're recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mirage. We've got uh, TMNT Ultimate Collection Volume Six, the hardcover. This is uh, collecting the various Eastman and Laird one shots and short series, uh, short stories. The final vil- volume of the uh, Ultimate Collection series and that's going to be available October twenty eighth. And on the Archie fun- uh, front, um, the uh, Adventures Volume ten trade paperback uh, collects Archie Adventures issues forty one through forty four. That's going to be available September twenty third. All right. And from uh, comic book news and into movie news. There hasn't been much. <laughs> the, okay, this, this you want to hear turtle movie news? Because you know what fills up my freaking uh, Google News for, for turtles every day? Megan Fox and yep. Brian no, I, Green hey, getting a divorce. I get, I, I get Google alerts all the time. Uh, I, I have, I'm subscribed as well for, for the turtles, and that's exactly it. I, I look at it, and I don't even like. I don't even want to look at it anymore because I know exactly what it's going to be. I don't even care. That's not turtle news. That is not turtle news. Google, get it together, man. <laughs> well, is that under Transformers news as well and bad acting news and like? I mean, is it all under all that? It, it, it's just it's ridiculous. I don't want to hear anything more about her. Sometimes no new, no news when it comes to at least this particular movie um, series is is good news. I agree. So, yeah, I agree. I, I I think it's actually uh, it's a good thing that we're not hearing, <laughs> especially post production. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, Stephen Amell, Dar- Darby's um, man, crush. man crush. Yes, his man love. And he just um, ordered a, you know, this 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 really weird doll, that's that's actually modeled after Stephen Amell, and um, he, I saw him. It was really weird. He was posting it on on Twitter. He was cutting out real, random holes and putting like these velvety socks in them. It's really weird. Oh, oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's it's it's rather sweet. I mean, Got you a know, special friend. It's true love. It's true love. <laughs> well, um. If you didn't hear, uh, we, we briefly mentioned on the show before, but uh, he actually had a match in WWE. That's right. He had his first wrestling match. Professional wrestling match. I don't know. Maybe he wrestled in high school. I don't know. But uh, before the match, uh, he had a interview with uh, uh, one of the uh, – I'd say, I'd say she's probably the best – interviewer in WWE right now and her name is Renee Young and um, she's got the show on the WWE network called WWE Unfiltered and uh, Stephen was on there and uh, he talked a little bit about the uh, the turtles so let's uh, go to that clip right now so you're playing Casey Jones it's one of the coolest characters I think that you get to play in a movie I mean there's a lot of cool characters but this is Casey Jones it's Casey you Jones. watched that as a kid I did I went to three different birthday parties that were centered around going to see the classic Ninja Turtles, like we would go watch the Turtles movies and then we would go home mm-hmm. and eat so much cheese pizza that we would all bark. Calabunga. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and then that was it. That was it. That was my experience growing up with Casey Jones. Um, so how pumped were you when you found out you got to play in this movie? I was really fired up. It's just going to be unbelievably cool to yeah. play. Of course. And uh, it was really nice to be able to identify it and get it. Yeah, like you, with you, you just walk yeah. in and do it. I knew you when you wanted to work for the WWE, right? And there that it is. was right. I'm. I don't want to say with 100 percent certainty that I'm 100 percent the April O'Neil of WWE, but without question, <laughs> that's my role here. I feel like I feel like you just identified yourself as the April O'Neil of WWE. 
Congratulations, Renee. Bottoms up. Cheers. I'm just putting it out Cheers. there. I mean, yeah, sure, Megan Fox is Megan Fox, and she's got her thing going on. She has a thing. But I'm around, sure. and I'm here if anyone needs me. Oh, you, oh, you mean like to fill in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. I feel all like right. you are not taking this seriously at all. A fan? Fan of the series? Fan of the movies? Uh, back in the day? Uh, the original movie, of course, the uh, uh, Elias Cateus, you know, the, the uh, penultimate Casey Jones, if you will. So, yep. Um, it's <clears throat> it's good to hear that he's excited for the role. You know, it it's uh it's one thing. You know, you could have been like, yeah, you know, whatever. I you know, I got like, just this movie series, and you know, I got lucky, got got the job. I'm happy about it. But no, yeah. he, I mean, he's he's really enthusiastic about the turtles and about the the role. So. Uh, yeah, well, after, hopefully... after after the last movie, it's it's kind of like a breath of fresh air. And like yes. I know there are, there are huge supporters of the of the last movie, and I'm I'm done bashing the movie. I'm just done. Okay, I'm I'm not. That's not what I'm here to do. But for me personally, I was not a huge fan of the movie. And for me personally, this is a uh, this is a breath of fresh air to to to, to know that someone is truly truly enjoying the role and they know about it. it more than just what they see on t-shirts and what they've heard you know like he I, I i truly truly feel like he probably didn't even have to do that much research on the character like he just knew like he said it he said it himself he's like yeah it just he just knew it just clicked yeah and yeah that's, I get the same that's, feeling. so that's exciting that's exciting totally and, and then that's... renee young let's just say i i'm not I, I i just i am out of the wwe loop um, last time I was really watching it hardcore was still WWF, but I pulled her up and I would absolutely, based on her charisma alone, on what I heard, I think she would be a phenomenal April O'Neil. Oh Just yeah, saying. yeah. Renee Renee Young is fantastic. Um, she's actually she's not really one of the you know she's not a diva. She doesn't wrestle at all, right? Um, but uh, you can see her on Total Divas because she she does you know hang out with. The, some of the divas so you can see her on there as well um but uh yeah no she's she's uh she's an awesome interviewer it just seems like an unbelievably awesome person mm-hmm. um so yeah yeah let's bring her in let's let's get her into something let's get her into an april role somewhere come on let's make this happen come on wwe uh, i'm telling you there is something something's gonna happen with with sheamus because he's playing Right, you know he's playing he's playing Rocksteady, right? Uh, yeah, yes. he's playing Rocksteady. Yeah. And Stephen Amell just wrestled in a match. He's playing Casey. Right. Something there is something going on there. I so know. Do you it. do you think there's gonna be like a Sheamus Amell like showdown in in like on WWE, or do you think they're gonna maybe hint on the WWE? What like what do you think? What are you well, thinking? You got so something churning up Sheamus there. Sheamus is the m- current Money in the Bank champ uh, holder, which basically means he can um, get a championship match whenever he wants. Okay, and thank you for elaborating because honestly, I was yes. just gonna go along with it. Okay, so basically, uh, you know, I don't want to say basically, there's a very high percentage chance that he will become WWE champion here and I am damn near positive that that will take place right before the release of TMNT 2 okay I, what are we calling this movie it's just it's just uh, half shell right half yep, shell that's, half shell Thank is you. it that's it yeah, yeah. he will uh, become I... WWE champion right before the release of half shell so that he can Promote the movie while being WWE champion. It's gonna happen. You just watch. It makes it makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right, that's all the movie news we got. <laughs> hey, is, I, we told you there's not much, but uh, uh, a lot of we've filler got... in this episode, guys. A lot of filler, yes. especially with one man down. Yes, so. but uh, it's okay because we've got uh, your help. That's right. We've got plenty of uh, your mutated messages. So uh, let's uh, let's get to those uh, right now. Please, please, uh-huh. a moment to reflect. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's see. At Jamie, nineteen eighty one. Start doing the TMNT movie commentary tracks, not in place of the show. So basically saying, hey, uh, we should do. 
some movie commentaries. It's something we've talked about. We've mm-hmm. never actually done though. It uh, it, it just it yeah. We could do that. It's, I mean yeah, we could do that. So I asked which one should we do first, and uh, they said um, original movie. Right. And then don't forget TMNT and Turtles Forever. Won't ever forget those. No, absolutely not. And and you know, I definitely agree with these three. Yeah. Um, I almost feel like we should do TMNT first. I don't know. Yeah, yeah that would be a good one. Uh, here's here's my thought with that, and, and because I understand doing the original movie first, and it just kind of makes sense in order of progression. But and Turtles Forever, I feel like. I'd be. I'm actually kind of split between TMNT and Turtles Forever. Yeah, me too. Um, to do first, because I think at this point, a good majority of the public and Turtle fans have all seen the first the first movie. I think yeah. everybody's pretty much seen that movie. I think most everybody has seen TMNT, and I think some have seen Turtles Forever. So maybe Turtles Forever is the better way to go, um, because maybe it's just, it'll give. For, for for any fans out there who haven't seen Turtles Forever, this could be their excuse to finally go and see it. It really could. It, it, it's oh my! It's such a good movie. It's my second favorite movie in the entire Turtles franchise. It's my second favorite movie. Second favorite. That's that's saying something. The original is your number. The original, one? absolutely. Yeah. Well, and and I, I mean, I'm I'm the same way, but um, I feel like the original's been done so many times. Um, so I would I would kind of lean towards the Turtles Forever as well. I, I still would like to do the original. I think yes. I think we should definitely we need to start getting some of these out. I I agree, I agree. and and thanks for bringing it up because the subject uh, Jamie nineteen eighty one because the subject just it's kind of just gone dormant like we just haven't really yeah. talked about it for yeah. a while. Um, we'll get on it. Yeah, we it. absolutely will. Hopefully within a couple months, maybe I don't know, depending on what our schedules look. Well, may, I don't know, depending on what our schedules look like, we'll 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 start getting on that and. Hopefully we can pop up, pop out a commentary uh, within a little bit here. Anyway, moving on to Tiger Claw. Yeah, Tiger Claw. Um, so uh, he uh, wrote us back with some feedback. It says, uh, listen to uh, this week's episode and notice that you guys neglected to mention that the Raph that punched Hitler was Future Raph. It's from the Future Shark trilogy in the Archie series comic. Yeah, so I knew it was the Archie series comic, but I, I, yeah, I forgot that it was the uh, uh, the Future Shark trilogy, um, the Future Raph. So that's all right. That's why Tiger Claw has our back. Tiger Claw it, always has our back. His absolutely. his his immense database of all things turtle is absolutely astounding. Yeah, we mentioned earlier about um, you know if any of our listeners um, you know come across Turtles news or or anything like that. Tiger Claw, he is he is he has covered us so many times. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, oh my gosh, yeah. So we really appreciate uh, his help. Um, uh, gosh, over all the years, I mean, uh, the movie, the last movie, man, uh, he had our back for all of it. So yep, <laughs> yep. Uh, so we really appreciate it, Tiger Claw. At Darth Sivart yep. says, hey. I love you guys' podcasts. I just found you guys and have been listening to all of them. You make my workday go by faster. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, podcasts, if you can listen to them during your workday, they do make your workday go by so much faster. Um, I try to when I can. Sometimes, you know, you can't. You're, you're, you're busy having to read something, and you can't really read while you're listening to someone talk to you. But, um, yeah, no, I – I, I'm glad we can help. I'm definitely glad we can help. So, so you do you listen to our podcast routinely? Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, li- I listen to every single one of them. I have to. I, I really got to go and edit everything, and yeah, yeah. Oh well, no, I single. understand that, but I mean, post, post, post uh, production, like post edit, like do you, do you? I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. I do listen to a few of our episodes. Yeah, but. And I don't listen to our episodes religiously because I was there. I know what happened. I don't really need to go back and listen to it again. True. 
So I just I was curious to to know if you just love to you know the sound of your own voice. I know you love to talk and you love to listen to yourself talk, but I was just I was just curious how far, how, how vain you really were. Uh, and I, I guess that's my answer. You, do you do listen to? I so pretty much every episode I will listen through at least one more time because I I, I go through the entire thing. I'll usually mark down any edits that I want to make. And then I sometimes I have to listen through it a whole other time while I'm actually doing the editing. So mm-hmm. mostly it's because I want to listen to you guys talk. Yeah, mostly you. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> I have that that soft. What well, you're like? Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, come on. Soft Cuban voice. <laughs> uh, moving on. And by the way, one. thanks, Darth Sephard. Thank you very much, um, Michael Carafa. Yeah. It says, uh, keep up the good work, guys. I love your show. We will keep up the good work. And thank you very much. We love you for listening and loving our show. So there you go. We love each other. Now we are officially going steady, Michael Carafa. <laughs> uh, this is uh, at Vegan Sarni on Twitter. So this is this is impressive. So had a couple of back and forth. Um, this is this is amazing. Uh, it's taken a while, but I finally watched all ten seasons of the classic TMNT cartoon series. That's 193 episodes. I'm currently watching the next mutation. I don't rate it that highly so far. <laughs> At least there's only 26 episodes. Oh. Uh, in episode two of uh, the next mutation. When Leo tells Venus that the turtles aren't brothers, I already knew about it, but still. Grrr. And uh, just listened to episode 41. Made me laugh when you mentioned my tweet about how I pronounce tomato. Tomato. <laughs> uh, catchy end music, by the way. Yes. Uh, definitely uh, check out uh, shellshocked.ocremix.org to uh, uh listen to all these uh great they songs. do it yep uh and it, it is tomato and by the way nice grr right that was that was, yeah, that you're was welcome. impressive man. you just you read with so much emotion i wish i had that i'm gonna try that i'm gonna i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna do that with this this next this okay next, you can uh, do the next one all right oh, damn what, what kind of name is that at hamster rat hamster is that, yeah, that yeah, hamster rat. yeah you got it. At hamster rat. it just it, it doesn't look like rolled right off the tongue Hey, hey, at TMNT Podcast, look what I got today. And then he posted this fantastic picture of on Instagram, which I probably should have pulled up uh, beforehand. <laughs> and, uh, whoa! Okay, so it is a keychain flashlight, and it is a turtle, right? That's right. That is, where do you get that? Hmm. So, I'm curious, Hamster Rat, where did you find that? Uh, it is pretty sweet. What uh, would you say? That's a that's a classic turtle based on the look, like yeah. classic series. Yeah. So I mean, did you maybe like at a Spencer's or like a Hot Topic is probably what I would think. That's what but, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm just curious to know where you found that. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Nice find. Definitely. Uh, the next one is from uh, Remdog105, and. Uh, they uh, sent us, uh, or he sent us a um, his review of uh, Fourfold Trap, and so he's been doing reviews on the uh, 2012 Turtles and uh, the Nick Turtles, and uh, so he sent it to us to uh, check it out. It's pretty good. Um, so uh, we've got a link to that in the show notes. Thanks, Rim Dog. Yep. And uh, once again, this is uh, Tiger Claw. Uh, this is now. This isn't really news, but this is. I mean, it maybe, maybe not, but, um, and this is a little bit of an Easter egg or a, a spoiler. This is not really a spoiler. It's in the last episode. But, um, so at one point in the uh, most recent episode of Nick Turtles, there is a scene where Michelangelo is potentially going to get, hey, big surprise, mutated. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's he's wondering what he could turn into, and the um, the the thing that he was afraid to turn into would quite possibly be 
a female turtle. Hmm. Hmm. And so he in- included the photo from um, from the uh, um, from the episode. And uh, then Tiger Claw was, uh, um, well, he and he and Darby traded back and forth with some uh, some various uh, <laughs> discussion on on turtles and breasts. Um, <laughs> and how that would quite work, <laughs> but um, uh, then, but one good point that uh, that he did supply was he said there here's an image of uh, Venus de Milo in a very similar pose, and uh, so this is uh, yeah it it is absolutely they got this this pose of a female Michelangelo right off of that that photo of uh, Venus de Milo so yeah. So he's saying possible Easter egg. I, I, I don't know if it's an Easter egg. I, I guess it is an Easter egg. I don't know if it's a things to come though. I think I, it's more of a things to come. I don't, I don't think it's a Venus Easter egg. I don't think. I don't think they're going to call him Venus, right? I mean, because they were, they've already had that whole like with Venus on the side of the uh, of the van and all that. Like I don't I don't I don't think that's no. Yeah. I don't. I think it's a things to come for sure. I don't think it's. Well, not for sure. I really hope it's not a things to come. Let me go. Let me just say that. Like, I really don't want to see Mikey as a female turtle. But do you think we'll ever see a female turtle in this show? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, really? I, I absolutely do. It's it's. Come on, man. And look at the business standpoint. And and I don't I don't like bringing business and and but it's it's, it's part of the game, man. It's part of the game, and. You have to draw in the like the 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 girl crowd, the the female crowd, um, and that's the best way to do. It. I mean, they're not doing enough with the Karai. April obviously has her own thing going on, so they're you know. But I think a female turtle will draw in that audience. I just I, the only thing I don't want to see is I don't want to see a and this is not sexist or anything like that, but. I don't want to see a female turtle as an everyday turtle. Like I don't want to. I don't want her as like a sidekick. You already have April. You already have Bean. Or stop, stop, Jesus. You already have April. And you already have Casey. Right. Those are those are your two go tos, and they always have been. You're gonna mess with the entire dynamic. Um, that's why it has nothing to do with. I don't want a female turtle in the group. I just think as a side character, kind of like what Slash, how Slash works, you know, with the Mighty Meat animals and all that. Like, I want something like that with a female turtle. I think that would be very successful because um, Karai is obviously going to make a comeback as well. So um, there's there's not going to be a need for an everyday female turtle, but I think we'll definitely see. You mentioned it before we uh, went on the air. Ronda hmm. Rousey. Do you imagine a turtle like oh. Ronda Rousey? Dude, that'd be perfect. She is on top of the world right now. That is, she's on top of the world right now. Can you imagine an MMA style? So she's a previous MMA Jiu-jitsu. fighter that gets mutated. Oh, oh, dude! It follows the script of the entire show. It, 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 that's just that's how it happens. An MMA female MMA fighter gets mutated. Dude, and, dude, it's perfect. It's oh, perfect. that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. That would be beyond fantastic. I can absolutely see it. I can absolutely see it. <sighs> this can be done right. Like that that that's the problem with Venus de Milo, is because Venus de Milo came in the next mutation and the next mutation's got issues. Like that's that's the problem. It's yeah. it's not the fact that there's a girl turtle. Right. There's there's nothing wrong with that. No. You just gotta do the character right. And, right. and there's obviously ways that you can do it correctly. It's it's not rocket science, right? And uh, oh man, the the potential for greatness is there. Absolutely. What if, and what if she's a villain as opposed to an ally? That's another option as well. Yeah, totally. And then, can you imagine her brawls with Wrath? That would be the fight to see. <laughs> oh man, it'd be fun. That would. It be, would be fun. It'd be a be lot fun. of fun. And I'd love to see the different fight style she's not a ninja she's mma you know jujitsu brazilian jujitsu oh man that's exciting dude yeah yeah um all right uh next one um yeah i'll take it uh 
Uh, hey guys, uh, just been listening to some of the older episodes, and I uh, I heard a uh, you guys uh, asked for some help for uh, trying to find something. Uh, if you could um, ask if oh okay, um, is anyone looking to sell a copy of their TMNT Back to the Sewers DVD? Interesting. So uh, if you have a a Back to the Sewers DVD, I'd I don't. Yeah, I definitely don't. Yeah. Um, so think 2003 series, very end of the series where they be- go back to the sewers. So you have the original, they went into the future, and then they went back to the sewers. So if you have one of those DVDs and uh, are looking to sell it, let us know, and we'll put you in contact with, uh, with Daniel here. So it's, it's funny, Daniel. Um, Daniel, uh, is uh, we've actually been in contact a little bit recently. Um, on Facebook, because um, he's part of a, uh, the same TMNT group as I am, and he actually just uh, just started another group where he's posting a lot of awesome stuff on pop culture forward slash sports entertainment forward slash gaming group. Anyway, um, this is the same Daniel that uh, he is also, by the way, he is Hamster Rat, by the way, same guy. Oh. Um, yep, and he's the same one who has that 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 middle name that I could not pronounce. That he remembers Daniel Paul Banagua Crow. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember that whole yes. back and forth? Yeah. yeah. So that's the same guy. I just want to throw that. It's the same guy. Uh, he did let me know uh, <laughs> via Facebook message that I at least got one of his middle names right. I'm going to guess it's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Not Banagua. But uh, big shout out to him. And uh, yeah, if anybody has uh, Back to the Sewers DVD, man, reach out to him. Um, uh, on uh, on Facebook, I guess that uh, he didn't really give us any or reach out to us, and we can I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can probably find him on. So what what is the uh, the Turtles group? Is that the Turtles uh, f- Forever or no? What is it? Um... It is. And uh, hang on two seconds. It's not TMNT Army. It is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, uh, nineteen eighty eight through two thousand fourteen. Okay. Um, that is uh, one of the. Um, there's also TMNT Army. There's he's in all of them. So so am I. So there's there's tons of. In case you didn't know, there's tons of groups on Facebook where there's just a ton tons of TMNT fans. They all post collectibles. Some people are selling stuff. Some people are just like showing their collectibles. Actually, I've seen quite a few. I I want to say I saw one of the Mondo figures on that on um on one of those groups recently. Um. Ah, and I've just there's just a lot of fun stuff. I definitely saw one of the one of the one of the Krangs, the the new Krang that came out. Yeah, the yeah. hundred something dollar whatever oh, it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, um, cool. yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. Check out all those uh, all those fun Facebook uh, groups. There, it's a great uh, sense of community and uh, Vault TMNT. So if you don't get your fill with just us, which you should, but in case we're not enough for you. Uh, reach out to some of those groups. There's a lot of cool guys out there, totally. and girls, and gals, and gals. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, some of them that I mean, the, the, it seems like the the thing now is to wear turtles gear, mm-hmm. shirts, you know, hats, whatever, and then do selfies. Yes, that's that is the new thing. That is the Which, new thing. Hey, you know, uh, that's that's cool, man. Like, it, I, there's some stuff that people are wearing that I, I don't even remember seeing ever. I saw this, this shirt. They said they got it at at a, at a Walmart, but I don't I don't know if it's only there or what. But it's a football jersey, and it says eighty four. It's, it's number eighty four, and nice. the the letters are in like the um, you know the green like kind of scale, mm-hmm. scaly uh, textured look. Right, uh, right. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, dude. You see some fun stuff. I saw some. Well, this isn't turtle related, but some uh, Star Wars basketball jerseys, ah, which looked insane actually they're on they're on amazon too um they're they're not bad they're like 40 bucks which isn't bad for a jersey i don't know the kind of quality it is but yeah you're seeing all this fun stuff nowadays man like more than you we ever saw when we were kids and growing up so. oh yeah um and uh one last thing he says is uh his idea for what uh turtle fans should be called members of the turtle family i like that one i like that i like that one a lot so We've got that added to the list. So so far, we've got uh, uh, Shellians or Shredders, 
we've got shellheads, and we've got members of the turtle family. Uh, I'm kind of I, I like that one the most I think right now. But um, it's 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 definitely up there. It's between that and shellheads. Like I'm right there with both of those. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, make sure you send in uh, your recommendation for what are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans called? What should we be called? And uh, when uh, or what, what do you call this already? I, yeah. that, I'm curious. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and uh, when we've got uh, a bunch of uh, submissions, when we've got a bunch of recommendations, uh, we'll uh, send those in to Kevin Eastman. And uh, he's going to pick out an official name for the fans of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can be part of history. That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, last but not least on the uh, um, mutated messages front, this is from uh, uh, Tim G 311 on Twitter. He says, uh, uh, one last thing uh, he's curious to hear our thoughts on. For all four turtles... Which adaptation do you feel has been the best for each one? And that's from all the different comics, TV shows, and movies. Hmm. That's a, that's a great question. That's a really good question. That's a deep question, man. Very that's... deep. So this is one, man, like, like at first I was like, oh, I think I can get this pretty easy. And then I started thinking about it. I was like, oh, no, this is... <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought it was going. This to be. is, I mean, it's you have to go deep into. Like, I, I don't think I can pick the original, uh, original series for any of the turtles. Be, I think because they were so similar. Exactly. The, 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 there, there was no diversity within the turtles. It's. Uh, I think that Mikey is by far the best in the two K twelve series. Ah. I'll start. I'll start there. Okay. Raph is not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, okay. He's not. He's, he's, being, he's being underused in the series. Undervalued in the series. Uh, I don't know if you agree with that, but I don't think he's being used properly in the series. Um, uh, but do you agree with Mikey in 2K12? What are your thoughts on that? That's the easiest one for me. Right off the bat, like that's it just fits for me better than any other adaptation. I'm going to say for for Mikey, I'm gonna say the IDW series. I thought you might go there. I thought you might go there. It, it you can see I, you can see how important his role is more in IDW. He's he's the heart Absolutely. of the group. In Absolutely. in that like his his role like that, that 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 family unit would not be there without him. Mm-hmm. They, like I, they they wouldn't be able to survive without him. I agree, and then that's 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 a before that's a any great fight before anything. Like they need him. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna go with Mikey. All right, let's go Donnie next. Uh, I'm gonna say two K three series. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I think I, I think that I think that that's a pretty easy one to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, that one's that one's fairly easy. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's do Leo. Uh, man, I like Leo in the IDW series. I like Leo in obviously I like Leo and everything. That's a hard one. I I don't like him all that much in the two K twelve series, so I can cross that one out. I thought he was good in the 2K3 series. Um, I am going to take Leo from the TMNT movie. He's – he's th- that adaptation of Leonardo in that movie, he was se- – like right, from off, right off the bat, he was separated from his brothers. He was isolated in a South American country. So he was far away. He was nowhere near them. Um, he was just, I feel like he, like he was just, he was, he was conf- more conflicted. Um, the, obviously the scene between him and Raph, you really got to see how much he truly cares for Raph even beyond, you know, even though Raph is a complete moron, like he sees, <laughs> he sees the good in Raph. I just like I just like what they did with the TMNT character for Leo. I think uh, yeah, I think it's a t- it's t- it's hard when it's your favorite turtle. Yeah, 
it's hard. It, it, it's hard for me to. I'm gonna. I can't say for sure. I like I'm having second thoughts, but I'm gonna stick with TMNT for right now. I and that think may change. I really, I you know what? I think that's a great choice. Um, it was for that. It was either gonna be that one, but it, I'm not gonna choose that one. I'm gonna go Mirage, Leo. Yeah. That, that that was that was that was that was up there too. Um, I mean, right from that, right from that that two page spread, you know, mm-hmm. he's wrong. We're not we're not wearing costumes, you know. That it's uh, it started it started with Leo in that series, and uh, um, I I feel like even though, you know, for, I mean, even for the. There's a lot of, uh, you know, similarities um, with the Turtles in there for a while, you know, until they kind of got their own personalities and everything. But um, I don't know, for some reason, and it's interesting because, you know, they all had red masks, but mm-hmm. um, I don't know that it just kind of um, embodies that that series for me. Yeah. Um, all right. Finish it off. Wrath. I'll let, well, do you want me to go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. I'll go first. All right. Uh, original movie, Raf. For me. Nailed it. Yep. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Um, I think he's, you know, he, I think he goes through the biggest character arc in that movie. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, with everything that he goes through, the injury, you know, Casey, um, you know, getting singled out on the, on the, on the rooftop, you know, um, I think it he goes through the most in that movie. It's like, you know, he, I think he's I, I don't want to say he's the main character in that movie. He's obviously not, but it, he just goes through the most stuff in that movie. So, yeah. Well, there's more of a yeah, there's definitely more of a focus yeah. out of the four turtles, there's more of a focus on Raph. Which is interesting because there's more of a focus on Raph at the beginning of the IDW series as well. Right. But right. uh but um it, it quickly becomes a, uh, a situation where it is definitely not his, um, you know, his his story. In the no, no, I yeah, think that it, he does a great job of of sharing the load with all the turtles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I figured we'd agree on that. There's just something about that movie in Raph, man. It just it, it, it tears him down. It just tears him down completely. And you have this character who is known for being, you know, he's, he's, he's top dog. He's rough. You know, he's, 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 um, abrasive. And then he gets, he gets, they just start tearing him down. They, uh, Splinter's kidnapped. Um, he gets ambushed and he gets completely embarrassed. Rightfully so. Obviously he was way out, man, but, um, he gets, destroyed in the rooftops and people have to care for him this is an in remember they made a point to establish his independence in the beginning of the movie he became dependent later on that movie so the 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 character curve that he had to go through is just it's phenomenal and it's not talked about enough actually but yeah it definitely definitely raf uh tm uh, the original movie raf for sure for sure yeah i agree well, um, uh, that goes, uh, that, so actually, you know what, before we move on, let's mm. put this out to the listeners. Mm. Let's get your response to this as well. For all four turtles, which adaptation do you feel has been the best one or the best for each one? It's, it's, uh, you know, it's four answers. Just send them in and we'll share them on the next episode. And you can't say Donnie for any video game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Kind of an adaptation. I don't care. Just no, oh, no. Oh man. Well, um, you know, we, we've got a couple other topics here, but we've actually filled up almost two hours on this uh, very uh, uneventful uh, episode. But um, uh, there is one other thing I wanted to share, and it's it's not really something that um, we can really. Pl- you got to experience this uh, with video. This is this is great. Okay, uh, Alex, in the show notes, did you get a chance to look under the additional topics, the bottom one, which says, watch a bunch of kids react to the old 1980s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon? 
So I've already seen this. I've seen this, I, I, and I don't know why I never did it. I, I saw this because um, this is a fairly older video. Yes. Uh, and I, I, I've actually already seen this. So okay. I know, based on if, memory, I can pretty much remember. It, it's hilarious. If you haven't seen this, we have a link to this in the show notes. You got to watch this. <laughs> it's the fine. It's the fine. It's a kids react video. They're they're all all these react videos are super popular on YouTube. Um, it's uh, Fine Brothers pr- production. I'm sure you've seen them. This the link we have is through Uproxx, right? Yeah, but it's a, yeah. it's a YouTube video, I believe. Yeah, it's a YouTube video, so you can check it out through Uprox, uh, which is the link that's posted in the show notes, or you can go um, to the Fine Brothers. You can just go to YouTube and search for Kids React to the you know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it'll it should come up. So it is fan. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, Just to get their point of view, because they're obviously they're used to at this point, they're they're used to the 2K12 because the 2K12 series was already out when this was released. Yeah. So so they're doing a comparison, basically. They they're they're it's 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 obviously incredibly adorable because they're just a bunch of kids reacting to the video. But um, it's 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 got some funny stuff in there, man. Yeah. It, this is actually to give you a time frame of when this video was made. It was before the last movie came yeah. out, the tw- two, 2014 movie. So, um, but uh, yeah, it, this this is gold forever. <laughs> For real, it seriously is. Oh man, uh, um, we don't have any uh, recent iTunes reviews. So uh, if uh, if uh, you get a chance and you want to uh, share some feedback with us uh, over there on iTunes, uh, be sure to do so, and uh, we will uh, share that on a future uh, episode. Nope. One more thing. One more thing, guys. I want to start a Twitter campaign to get Darby to get better internet. <laughs> so we're gonna start a new hashtag. Okay, we're gonna start a new hashtag, and. I'm open to suggestions if this doesn't fly with you, okay. but let's go Darby Internet, hashtag Darby Internet, okay? And we're going to start that up, and we'll see where that goes. We can change it if need be, but right now he's pulling 1.1 download. Download. <laughs> he's down is 1.1, okay? There's no reason for that. So... We are going to start a campaign, Twitter campaign. Let's get this hashtag trending. Darby Internet. Let's get it going. If you want to change it, fine. I don't care. The point is, we need to figure something out with this guy. All right? This is ridiculous. I'm calling you out, Darby. (laughs) I'm calling you out. Guys, tweet him. Tweet him. Ask him what's up with his Internet. Why won't his Internet work? Go ahead and haggle him. Just just, just berate him. I don't care. Yeah. Get on him, okay? I agree. Tell him to get a 3G or a 4G MiFi device from the local um, cell phone store. I don't care. It, it would be better. Anyway, that's my small – I didn't have a rant today. That's my rant. No, okay? I like it. I like it. For Darby. And let's get Darby Internet trending on Twitter. It sounds like can. it should be Darby Internet 2015. I like that better. You know what? <laughs> You know that 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 it's it sounds more it sounds more legitimate that way. Yeah, absolutely. And Darby Internet hashtag Darby Internet 2015 hashtag right, Darby Internet 2015. Right, and we will we will edit the show notes and include that in the show notes. There right, it is. Ryan? What we what we do? Got right? it. Done. And uh, song of the show uh, this week is uh, once again from Shell Shocked dot uh, This is going to be. Uh, a track called Aim High. It's the s- first track off the second disc. It's arranged by Eno. Oh. Uh, come on. Oh, come on. Keskitalo. I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Tubers McGee. <laughs> 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 and this is uh, background music 26 from Hyperstone Heist uh, called Course. It's... And uh, do you want to. Uh, Read us out here, Alex? Sure. Uh, so you guys can check us out on our official website at www.turtlepowerpodcast.com. Follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast. Follow Ryan at Fig Don Pat. Follow myself at A Rodriguez2005. Follow Darby at Darby T. Patton. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe on our YouTube channel. Share your feedback with us via email at the Turtle Power Podcast at gmail.com. 
Don't forget to subscribe and rate us on iTunes and subscribe and listen on Stitcher, guys. Alex, it's been a pleasure as always, buddy. Yeah, but uh, thank you so much to all of our listeners out there. And thank you so much for all the feedback. We love sharing it uh, with all of our other listeners out there in the in the Turtles multiverse. We will talk to you next time. Peace.